What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Trey Jones. Today we're gonna to be talking about anxiety and that nagging, painful, irritating, burning sensation that you can get on your skin. Go ahead and smash the like button down below if you're ready to kick anxiety in the butt. Leave me a comment down there. Let me know if this is something that you dealt with. You are not alone. I talk to tons of people. People comment on these videos that deal with it. I coach clients that deal with this on the daily and I dealt with it a few times as well so I can sympathize. It's scary, it's painful. If you have health anxiety, hypochondria like me, um, I assumed it was some neurological condition, degenerative disease, um, skin disorder, skin disease, skin cancer. Um, I thought it was some other types of cancer infringing on my nerves, causing this sensation, but it was anxiety. But with that being said, make sure that you talk to a doctor, get that initial reassurance to make sure that you are okay and that you're not dealing with other issues. So important, so smart, be safe, do that. Also talk to a mental health professional if you've never done that. Something I didn't take advantage of, see a professional guys, but if you wanna add me as a life coach, an important, in my opinion, important dynamic because I have a lot of experience. I went through this for five long years and overcame it. You can add me as a life coach down in the description in the first pinned comment. I have an email address, reach out to me and we can set something up and get you started with that program. So guys, like I said, this is one of the many symptoms that I dealt with, hundreds if not thousands of them. Um, and it was a scary one, okay? So I dealt with this quite a few times. There's two primary reasons that this happens and I fell into the first one and that's basically just your regular old fight or flight response. Now, this is survival mode, right? Even though you're at the grocery store, in the car, at school, at your job, if you have high enough anxiety, you can go into your fight or flight. So you're trying to fight something or run away. So what happens whenever that happens, right? Your heart rate goes up, the palpitations, the blood pressure, the numbness, the tingling, the headaches, the nausea, the depersonalization, the derealization, impending doom, so forth and so on. I can go on forever with that. But something major happens and there's a redirection of blood flow. Now there's two primary reasons for this, all right? Very interesting. The first one is it's trying to, your body is trying to supply blood to the most vital areas for survival. So your heart, your lungs, your brain, your major muscle groups. That leaves these guys hanging, okay? Your fingers, right? Your hands, your arms, your limbs, so your, your lower legs, your feet, um, and in skin, okay? <laughs> these areas are not super important as far as blood flow. So blood begins to go away. So this causes a plethora of symptoms, right? I talked about the numbness, the tingling. When you have less blood flow, colder temperatures can happen. So colder feet, colder hands. I know a lot of people deal with that. Um, and you can feel this in your face as well. Also, whenever there is less blood flow in your skin, you're less likely to bleed out if you're in a dangerous situation. This is just so fascinating to me. It's your body is trying to protect you. It really believes that you're in a life and death situation. So if there's less blood flow in these areas and you're getting clawed by a tiger, less blood is gonna leave your body because it's in your central areas, okay? So it's a defense mechanism all on its own. Again, truly fascinating, but it can answer a lot of questions when it comes to these symptoms. And one of them is the burning sensation. When there's less blood flow around your skin, it stimulates your nerve cells. This can cause the burning sensation. So this is kind of one of the more direct ways that this happens, in immediate and fast ways that this happens. And this, this is something that would deal, uh, I would deal with you know, whenever I would have a major panic attack. Now, some of you deal with this all the time, okay? And we're all different. We manifest different symptoms. It varies from person to person. So just because you deal with this doesn't mean that you have some condition and just because Joe over here deals with it just every once in a while, or his primary thing is chest pain. We're all different, okay? Um, so when your nervous system uh, and your responses are heightened, okay? Stand by, <laughs> you're ready for action. You're just waiting for something to pop off, right? That's fight or flight, jittery, right? The, the feeling that you have so much energy pent up. This can cause your sensory nerves, which are the nerves that you, know, you feel with, they can be overstimulated. So the burning sensation, the painful nerve pain, I, I, it's hard to explain, but it's just basically sensitivity to your skin. Being touched can be extremely painful. Putting on clothes can be very painful. If somebody were to rub a feather on your skin, it can be very painful. Heck, our skin feels like it's crawling and in pain when nothing is touching it at all. That's how stimulated your nerves can be, especially if you're in nonstop fight or flight, nonstop high anxious or high anxiety, excuse me. This can be a, a, an everyday symptom for you. And then we have the issue with focusing in on these symptoms. Um, whenever we start to really fear a symptom, it seems to come on stronger. So however your anxiety is manifesting itself, 
If we focus in and really, really concentrate on those symptoms, we can magnify them and make it much, much worse. And you also have to remember, guys, we are just extra sensitive, not only to pain, but to everything, right? We're almost listening to symptoms, waiting for something to pop off in our body. So we're hyper, hyper stimulated, hyper aware, hypersensitive, all of that, okay? So all in all, our fight or flight, and then basically just this constant fight or flight where you're dealing with it day in and day out. And this is what separates somebody like me who had it a handful of times and somebody else over here that has it on the daily. So if you're dealing with this, my heart does go out to you. But remember guys, you're not alone with this. And to always seek initial reassurance from a doctor is so important. Now guys, in the description, I'm gonna put something down there and it's gonna be in all my videos from now on, but guys, take advantage of it. If you have not gotten your thyroid or your hormone levels checked, right, including testosterone, guys, please do it. Time and time again, I have seen people deal with these issues for years, <laughs> okay, and then finally get checked and there's like, oh, you have hyperthyroidism or, oh, you got uh, low testosterone. Don't be one of those people. Get checked out. Now, the link down below, they will actually ship this test out to you. Use Trey Jones 20, okay? I'll put it in the description and in the first pin comment. Trey Jones 20 will get you 20% off on this test. Roll that out, um, you know, and if you do end up having an issue with your thyroid or your testosterone, look, look at it in a good way. You can start handling it. At least you know now that it can cause some of the same symptoms and you can start to tackle those issues, right? So guys, I encourage you to check that out. There are other resources, online therapy. Again, check that out as well. It's free to sign up for that. And again, if you want some one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, my email's down there and in the first pinned comment. I love you guys. Keep watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for notifications. All of my social networks are down below. Like this video. Leave me a comment, guys. Until next time, keep fighting.